Hello, I'm Rowan from Sea Touch, and we're talking about octopus. So this session is going to look more into the subject areas that come within octopus and some of the resources around them. Within the standard tools that's covered in part one, um, are obviously very useful day-to-day -day tools, but we also have a number of subject-specific tools in maths, literacy, geography and science to help teachers create their own resources. So these are accessed from the tab here, so going off standard tools, if I go into maths, this gives me a, lap, uh, a list of maths tools. All the tools are key stage 1 to 4, um, most of them applicable for key stage 1 and 2, there's only a few that are for key stage 3 and 4 only, so they're very applicable across primary and secondary education. Um, and they're not activities, the nice thing about these is they're, they're all tools that teachers can use to create their own resources, which is the feedback that we get all the time is that they're really useful because you can do your own thing with them rather than a prescript way of teaching. So the first one I'm just going to bring up some simple number tiles. So this enables me to drag out numbers, clip them together and then make an equation there. I drag the equals onto the end of it. That's given us a sum very quickly. Because the math tools are built into the whiteboard, obviously I can bring up any of my whiteboarding tools over the top of this as well, but also if I click there, it knows the answer. Because it knows the answer, I can ask that out to um, mobile devices. So wherever you see the grey arrow, it means the software knows exactly what you've done and it's happy for you to ask that question out to mobile devices without you having to put any preconceived answer in there. Once I've got the answer, I can drag that out, I can make it larger, and I can even do things like drag the place value out. If I want to make another sum, I can simply drag that in and create another sum and drag that out as well. So a really quick and simple tool that you could spend ages and ages teaching different various different bits on. Leading through, we've got basic things like number lines. So if I just want a simple 0 to 10 number line, I can drag that out. Um, and then I can also drag the numbers of that number line out as well. So something that you normally spend a while getting the rulers and, and drawing, you can just pull out very quickly. And then obviously it's interactive because the numbers come out as well. I've pulled the standard one out there. You can create your own if you wish. So if you want to go from 2 to 8, for instance, um, you can use the Create toolbar there as well. Just start a new page. Um, Standard things such as ruler and protractor, for instance. Um, the protractor, if I want to move the sort of indicator arrow there, again, it gives me the answer for angle A and B, and you can see the arrow symbols on there, so I can ask that question out to the mobile devices again if I wish. There's also a number of um, sort of tools within the whiteboard that you can just make bigger. This one's for reflection, so I can move the object, change the axes that it's reflected on, change the shape that's being reflected. So it's left completely open, there's no sort of right and wrong answers or cheers or, or gongs when you get things right, it's just a really nice tool that you can work out with at your own pace. Same for reflection, rotation works the same sort of way as well, um, so you know, you, you're just left completely autonomous to work on that. The conversion table, so the converter enables me to put uh, a, a, um, an amount in there and choose what I want to convert it from and to, again it gives me the answer and the arrow out to iPads. Finally on the maths, there's, there's quite a few here, um, obviously I'm just going to go through a few of them. Um, prisms, this is quite a, a, a nice one, so I can drag a shape out and then I can drag out the net of that shape and show how that net goes together and then drag out the transparent and the opaque versions of it as well. So that's just a taste of what's in maths. If I switch over to literacy now you can see it follows the same format. Um, there's something called word vault there so you can pull words in and out to make structured sentences and word parts etc. Geography, um, mainly mapping orientated as you can imagine so there's some offline maps here if you simply just want an outline of the provinces within France, for instance. I can click, click on that. 
and that exports it for me to use. Or for anything more detailed, we have Google Maps actually embedded into the whiteboard software. So again, following the Octopus principle that you can stay in the software and do everything you wish, then um, I can navigate around Google Maps within the software itself. And if I wish, drop the man in and go down into Street View as, um, as you can do in Google. Finally, we've got science. So it will pull some of the tools through that are relevant for maybe geography and maths for science as well, but then it's also got some additional ones. Um, so for instance, we've got the periodic table here that can break down into certain components. And then if I click on one of those elements, it gives me the full atomic breakdown of it, a link to a Wikipedia page, and again, the ask the question out to the mobile devices, what is the name of, of this element? So hopefully you can see there's loads and loads of content in there. Um, it does take a while to get through because there's lots in there, but it all follows the same pattern of how it works. So you should be able to pick those tools up very, very quickly and use them in class. Thank you very much.